Oh man, it's actually been a while since I last done this. Hey everybody, this is Seraphic Cat here. I'm gonna be doing a let's play off the reel of retro randomness. So, uh, as far as what game I want to pick, eh, uh, to be honest, I really don't have anything. So I'm just gonna let the randomizer do its thing and actually pick the six games of the pool of, well, over 7,000. Eh, well, let's see what I get. Starting with... Columbus Ogon no Yoake for the NES. Super Mario Brothers Kamikaze 3 in NES hack. R Type 2 for the Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Flicky for the Genesis. Summer Challenge for the Genesis. And finally, Missile Command for the Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Now let's see which one comes out right on top. Well, looks like we might end up having to look for a translation, but it chances are it probably might be a short one. The winner is Columbus, Oga no Yoke for the NES. So, this game. It's also known as Columbus of uh, Golden Dawn. It's made by the Tomy Corporation and was released just a little over a month after the quincentennial of Columbus's voyage. Not really much is known about this game except that it was only released in Japan. Oh, well, with that out of the way, let's get started. So apparently there are three modes of gameplay in this. Normal is basically just a normal uh, RPG game. You know, nothing special, really. The, um, history... Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, in fact, um, yeah, I'm actually going by an FAQ at this point. Yeah, history basically times your progress. And sailing, actually, well, apparently it's like a... Like a practice simulator of sorts. Let's see what this is about. Let's go London to Amsterdam. Destination is Amsterdam. If we don't avoid a stormy winds, our ship will sink. Whoa! Oops. <laughs> well, that was fast. Alexandria. Sail ho! Let's see. Pirate ship grappled. Ah, okay, so this kind of works a bit like, um, this kind of works a bit like Heroes of Might and Magic, sort of. I see. Huh. Battle's over. Gain two experience and some gold. Uh oh. Gapora appeared. Looks like it just squid. Alonso and Barto. This is like really, really weird. Okay, so he, so Alonso throws daggers too, huh? 
Hmm. Oh, shit. Poison? Yeah, I'm not sure how much Alonso has. I do have to admit, though, I don't really care much for the, um, battle music. Yeah, I actually thought this would be like, uh, you know, Final Fantasy in the style of, uh... Final Fantasy in the style of, you know, their battle. Unfortunately, I was wrong. I'm almost afraid to move him up front. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, absolutely nothing. It actually goes right through, um... It actually goes right through the comrades. I'm not sure how much HP these guys have. Good gods. I'm definitely going to skip ahead. Okay, so the battle's over. I got 14 experience and 4 gold. Man talk, number stats, start strat, num strat. This is weird. Man talk, auto talk. I have no idea what I'm doing. A harpy? Hey, remember Columbus's voyage when there's the heart when the harpy showed up? Apparently, I missed that part of the history lesson. Oh, the heroes level went up. Sail ho! We shook off the enemy! Pirate, sail ho! <laughs> wow. Apparently shaking off the pirate is no easy task. Uh oh, now we're in a storm. Basically, we gotta avoid the winds. Those winds! Whoa! I know the winds don't. I know the winds outright kill you. If I advance further, the ship may be caught by the Atlantic currents and get lost. Voyage failed! <laughs> oh my goodness. What the hell? You know what? Screw this damage. Um, gonna take a bit of a refreshing pause, and when we get back, um, we're probably gonna start off with the uh, normal RPG thing. And hopefully don't run into any harpies or uh, giant squids along the way. Okay, so now that we're actually back into the game, let's get started with the adventure. Hey, what are you up to? Okay, so apparently I'm going automatically. Sea charms. I dream of it. Santa Maria. Looks old, but still so firm. I should find a sailor. They know all of seafaring. Okay, so now I actually got control. Let's see here. Come on.
don't have a map. It's a hospital. Here you may recover your stam and repair special support items. Okay. Let's talk to this guy here. Okay, so... Uh, invite, hire, praise, bribe, or farewell. What do you want? I'm busy. Praises won't melt me. Okay, uh, farewell. That was weird. Get a throwing knife first. Wanna be a sailor? Ships bring only trouble. Huh. No one. Okay, so I got wooden... So I got enough for a wooden gear. So the FAQ tells me not to worry about a weapon. So... Apparently I start out with a knife. Any strong monsters roam around Genoa, run for your life if you meet him. Okay. And the music's not bad, well, except for the battle music from earlier. Experience earned ashore is useless at sea. Yeah, I already started out with the, um... I already start out with the regular knife. Unfortunately, if I want to get a throwing knife, it's gonna cost me 40 gold, which I do not have. Heed the words of a priest. And this guy... Welcome! Rations, and apparently you can buy potions back in 1492. What do you want? I'm busy. I saw the magic wooden cane from Santa Maria. And this guy. Talk to the locals before boarding. A big ship's in the north. See, Rome is just along the coast. This is an inn. You may restore your HP with 10 gold. Unfortunately, I only have 10 gold and I'm actually saving that. But even so, I don't need it because... But anyways, yeah, I don't need it because my HP is already full. You have no ship. Will I get a freaking ship? If I had... I don't work without profit, and you can't offer that. Oh... You don't seem to be a good captain. Well, fuck you too. And you wonder why I'm not a good captain. Even though I swear like a sailor. So, let's see what we got here. Alchemists. <laughs> I 
Yeah, this'll take a bit. Yeah, I don't know how much HP these guys have, or what their attacks are. HP. Apparently can only attack horizontally. Okay, enemy's been killed. Hit the rest button. I see. Oh! And that's it, folks! <laughs> oh, god damn it! So apparently. Game's immediately over if Columbus dies. And there's no way of seeing... There is absolutely no way of knowing what sort of, uh... Actually, no. There isn't a way of seeing what your stats are. And you wonder why this game never made it outside of Japan. get the wooden gear again and re-equip. Marco's book found. Board a ship and battle. Battle your experience up to level 2. So apparently Marco's book is a key item. So... Yeah, I don't really... So yeah, Marco's book is a key item. I never have to worry about removing it. Okay, so that's a... That, that's the hospital. So apparently, according to the FAQ, which I really should be following, I have to go down to the harbor and go to the boat. <laughs>